from Kansas City's breaking news leader. This is 41 Action News Today on 38th The Spot. The one, two again. Uh, inside corner. The Royals, 2015 World Champions. How about that? In spectacular Royals fashion, the boys in blue took a two run deficit into the ninth, pulled out a W to win the World Series in extra innings. They weren't on the board until the ninth inning. It's going to make its crazy. Amazing. We've got all things Royals in today's newscast. Game recap where you can get some World Series swag and when the victory parade and party. It's all going to be happening. Man, it was unreal. They, they have yes. not had, no, no other team has had more playoff comebacks than these Royals this year. I got to say, Kaylee, I forgot to tell you this. Both of us slept until like the seventh or eighth inning and woke up and go, ah, that's all the, that's when you need to start watching Royals games. It worked out well. well. That's when worked out it. well. Good morning, everyone. I'm Patrick Fazio. I'm Lindsay Shively. Welcome to 41 Action News today. All right, let's check in right now with Jane. She's in for Casey. See how things are looking on the roads this morning. Okay, thank you guys, Lindsay and Patrick. Hi there. Uh, we do have that crash still working southbound side of 435 before Eastwood Traffic Way. Originally, the right lane was taken away, so everyone, whoever's left, is over to the right shoulder, and it's mostly just emergency crews out out there trying to tow one last car. So it looks like the backup not as bad as it was. It does shake loose as you get closer to Eastwood Traffic Way and the northbound side looks great. But we do have some heavy slowing on westbound 70. It looks like at one point that backup was on westbound 70. So we can see that stretch now out of Blue Spring through 470 on over to 435 and getting word of a stall northbound 35 just beyond 435. We're going to find it heading into Overland Park, but it's quickly being moved over to the right shoulder as well. Well, good morning. Beautiful sunrise out there. You need your um, you need your sunglasses, not your umbrellas, but your sunglasses this morning. Look at this out in Lawrence. Live sky view. The sun is coming up a little bit on the breezy side. We're going to see winds today right around 10 miles per hour, but it is clear. It's going to stay that way for the next several days. You can see that there's really not a cloud in the sky. Rain well off towards our north. That's going to be the case today and even into the rest of today. 47 degrees at KCI 51 downtown. 45 in Warrensburg, so it is cool out there. You need a jacket, but this afternoon, that's not the case. Look at some of our temperatures. 68 degrees by noon, 76 degrees by 3 p.m. under sunny skies. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to stay warm and sunny for the next several days. So I'll break it all down for you coming up in a few short minutes. Thanks, Nicole. All right, Kansas City went crazy after the Royals came back to beat the New York Mets for the World Series title. But while we celebrated here at home, the boys in blue popped some champagne back in New York. A little bit, right? Just, Just a little bit. 41 Action News, uh, 41 Action Sports reporter D. Jackson and Frank Bull, they are there with more on the big win. Plus, we hear from this year's MVP. Good morning, everyone, and it is a good morning in Kansas City. Your Royals are world champions. D, what an incredible night last night. Not only an incredible night, but an incredible run. They take the series four games to one over these New York Mets, and a resilient group that just would not give up, fall all the way to the end, and what a miraculous ninth inning that they had. It, it was just preordained. I mean, this team was a, a team of destiny, and the Royals solidified their place in history last night. How much fun was it? Let's take you inside the locker room. Yeah, it, was, it was a set goal this year to start off to, to get back to the World Series. And uh, like I say it's definitely definitely a tough task to get back here. And then eventually we won it. And uh, like I said, we, we set out a goal. You know, it was a team effort, total team effort all year long. Started with the spring training all the way up to this point now. You know, it, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be a part of this team, you know, and get a chance to share it with these guys. From day one, there was no doubt in my mind that they wouldn't accomplish it. There was no doubt in their mind that they wouldn't accomplish it. Uh, and the cool thing about this team is they, everything they set out to accomplish, they did. You know, they wanted to win the division, they won it by 11 games. They wanted to win home field advantage for the playoffs, they did. Um, they wanted to win the World Series, they did. So, I mean, it's just a special, special group that um, doesn't come around very often. So 30 years later, 1985 to 2015, once again, the Kansas City Royals are world champions in the World Series. You know what? They 
they still have a very young nucleus of players. Have some players get a little bit older, or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you something, D, they could make another run next year. They've had a great mix of players too. And I talked to Alex Rios in the locker room, and he said one thing that made this team so special was that they had enough guys that were still hungry and enough guys who had the experience that had been there before, and that's what really made this team work. And it, we hear so much about the chemistry and guys like Salvi and Lorenzo Cain and, and how these guys all get along like brothers, and it's just one big family. And I, I think they do have the skill, the potential, and the talent to get back right here again next year. We'll be talking about the World Series very shortly this offseason. And I think we really have to take hats off to owner David Glass. He did up at the $125 million payroll. They wouldn't be able to do it without getting Johnny Cueto and Ben Zoberston here. There's no doubt they really helped uh, guys like Chris Young and Chris Medlin and just a whole group of guys. Also, Dayton Moore stuck by his guns. Knew he was limited with what he could do. He did it. And he and Ned Yost, they never wavered from their template. And they went after it. And folks, it all capitalized last night, City Field in New York, the Royals 2015 World Series champs. World champs. How it's, great does that sound? Still sounds so surreal. We'll keep right? saying it all week, too. And uh, did you go down to Power and Light? If not, here's what you missed. Oh my gosh. They went wild when the boys <laughs> in blue took the crown, and our very own Amy Holly captured the scene of the ad capacity crowd pretty much losing their minds. Oh, look at this. I love it. Okay. <laughs> While the atmosphere was truly electrifying into the wee hours of the morning, it's a very different scene right now. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live at the Power and Light District today. Okay, Andres, all the crowds are gone. Sounds like the conversation's still going, though. Absolutely, Lindsay. Everyone is talking about this historic moment, and my gosh, what a great time to be in this city. You know, I've been here a little bit over two years, but I am so happy, so proud, the fact that I'm in this city for this moment for you guys to be celebrating the Kansas City Royals. The front page of the Kansas City Star simply says their royalty and sports radio stations this morning are talking about their victory, this championship, right now here at Sports uh, Radio 810 at their uh, McFadden uh, broadcast. Broadcast booth. They've been broadcasting for more than eight hours. Their last hour was just just aired here on 38th The Spot. I just stopped by here and spoke with one of their hosts, Stephen St. John. He shared his joy for the championship with listeners throughout the morning. He's also recalled memories of the Royals from back in the day, and throughout the morning, he's really focused on how te this team has impacted his family and this city. This team never gives up. They're down, they come back. That's what makes it so special. You know, and I think they embody what's special about this town. Working class, never giving up. You keep us down, we'll keep fighting back. And that's what this team is. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's such a special feeling. You wait your whole life to get to this point, And here it is, Kansas City, celebrate. Absolutely. Now, we obviously want to give our boys in blue a big salute. We're working to find out what time they will arrive here at Kansas City. They'll be getting into KCI Airport. We're hearing around noon, but we're trying to go ahead and pin down that exact time. We'll be there, of course, and bring you the latest information later on in our newscast on 41 Action News. But for now, reporting live, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News on 38 The Spot. Now, you heard him say celebrate, and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's right. So uh, get ready for the big parade celebration tomorrow. It's going to be really fun. Well, what's next? You better believe. Mark your calendars. Use a PTO day. It'll be tomorrow at noon. Or oh, you could, you know, do a half day or just a long lunch. All right. So this starts at noon at Sprint Center. It'll travel around downtown uh, through Power and Light. It'll end at Union Station. That's where a rally will start at 2 tomorrow. And meanwhile, many of you may be wondering, why does this have to happen while you're at work? There's a reason. Yeah, Mayor Sly James says uh, he's heard your concerns and he says this is the reason why. He tweeted Major League Baseball is actually in control of all this. It requires the parade happen within 48 hours of the final game. So they can't wait until the weekend, which I know a lot of people wanted. Yeah, okay, so coming up, we're going to check in with Joel for more details about the parade route, parking, because it's going to be crazy down That's there, right. and the rally, all of that coming up in just about 10 minutes. The Kansas City Chiefs, hey, the Chiefs played yesterday. They're coming off perhaps their best game of the season as they go into the bye week. Yeah, how about that? We need to play overseas more often. <laughs> no, we don't. We just need to play the Lions more often, apparently, because we took them down in London. Fans were there waving Chiefs kingdom flags. The Lions actually got on the board first, but late in the first quarter, DeAnthony Thomas got the inside handoff and ran to the left. He beat the defense, put the Chiefs in front. Minutes later, Alex Smith, there he goes. 
almost said Alex Gordon. I'm used to saying Alex Gordon so much this uh, this uh, postseason. Smith takes it in for the touchdown. Chiefs up 14 to three. They wanted on to win it by a final score of 45 to 10. That's the most points the Chiefs have scored since late in the 2013 season. I thought both lines on both sides of the ball um, played well. The offensive line on, on the offensive side and the defensive line on the defensive side. I thought they kind of set the tempo. Um, and then down the stretch, that's when you really you lean on that offensive line. Uh, you've got a lead. Uh, what are you going to do now? And so I, I thought our guys stepped up and played well. morning out there as we look at our American Century Investment Sky View. The sun is coming up. It's a little on the cool side with temperatures sitting in the 40s to 50s. 39 actually in Clinton, 45 in Sedalia, 44 in Chillicothe, 50 in Hiawatha. Jackets this morning, but this afternoon temperatures are going to be in the mid 70s. You're not going to need your jacket. But notice how temperatures continue to stay warm on Tuesday, even until Wednesday we will also stay dry. It's not until Thursday and Friday where we will start to see rain moving back into the forecast and cooler temperatures. I'm talking about a 20 degree temperature drop by this weekend. Now, I'll break it all down for you coming up in a few short minutes. Jane. Thanks, Nicole. A little bit of a slowdown building on I-70 heading westbound. You could see it there on our map. Did have an earlier problem southbound on 435 before Eastwood traffic way. Whatever is left over to the right shoulder. So at least lanes are open. But you could see the domino effect westbound 70 stretching back out to 470 through Lee Summit and then shakes loose as you get closer to 435. Did have a stall reported northbound 35 at 435. That cleared heading into Overland Park. And we do have some slow areas where speeds are going to drop down westbound 40 from Blue Ridge cutoff out to I-70. Saw that. Southbound side 69 from Frederick Avenue down to 36. But the good news is if you are heading into downtown, check out these drive times. A lot of folks uh, maybe staying in today. 35, 70 and southbound out of Liberty all running pretty much at full speed. Staying in or uh, just running late for some reason. Can't imagine why. Hey, we got to work on time. Woo -woo. After what, an hour and a half, two hours of sleep? It was worth it though. Worth hey, it. Kansas City World Series champs. Well, stores could barely keep World Series gear in stock after the big World Series win last night. Seriously, hundreds of fans packed retailers across the area. One even had to shut down after running out of Royals merchandise. But Rally House is one of the places back open for business this morning. There were lines last night yes. at these places, and we find uh, 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake at Rally House. Looks like there's still people shopping. Yes, there are a lot of people shopping here this morning. They opened up the store at 6 o'clock. There were already people waiting around. Um, there wasn't too much stuff when we got here, but then luckily the trucks came in hot off the press, and now all of this gear is in. Uh, let's take a look at this shirt. What a nice shirt. It says World Series Champs. This is one of the ones that um, they're getting a lot of boxes in uh, throughout the day. And also there is one shirt that everybody is uh, wondering about. We've, we're talking here with Andrea Hoover. Um, tell us about this shirt. Everybody wanted this shirt, but you don't have that much in right now. Right. They totally flew off the shelves um, early, I guess, last night and early this morning. So um, just look for replenishment to come to all the stores today. Um, throughout the day, we are trying to get them here as quickly as we can get them to us. <laughs> yeah. And so tell us about um, all the other gear that you've got. I mean, We've got some pretty exclusive stuff, right? We do yes, we have um, we have the largest selection in Kansas City. Um, we've got tons of exclusive styles, um, as you can see here. Some really cool, um, cute styles for ladies and awesome styles for the guys. Um, just keep your eye out; more is going to be coming all week. Okay, so if if people are freaking out because they can't stop by this morning, it's you know no big deal. More is coming. <laughs> more is coming. Okay, all right, and and then again, good news. Uh, Rally House, uh, they're going to stay open late tonight, like they did last night, and then tomorrow morning, opening at 6 a.m. On the plaza, Sarah Blake, 41 Action News. Lead for Kansas City. Morales sends the ball well hit in the left center field. And that one is gone! This game seems like ages ago, but it's when the Royals beat the Houston Astros in a win or go home game five to head to the ALCS. Oh, they've had so many great comebacks this year, and that win is paying off for us this morning. We just got our winnings from the bet that we made with our NBC station, KPRC in Houston. Yeah, thanks to the Royals win, we got some ribs and brisket, we got some barbecue sauce. Look at that, we have sausage in All our sorts crock of good pot stuff. back here. The oven is on, the brisket is cooking, and it smells fantastic, so. Too bad it's not, smell-o-vision. I know it. <laughs>
We're having so a little bit of a celebratory uh, potluck coming up. So much here. good stuff. So we appreciate it, Houston. And hopefully you won some bets as well with uh, any of your friends in Houston, Toronto, New York, wherever it may be. We have Canada treats coming too. That's right. As soon as it gets, <laughs> gets through customs, I guess.